If you've ever been stranded with a dead battery, you know how frustrating it can be. But what if there's no one around to help jumpstart your vehicle? Can you still get your scooter moving again? Well, some scooters do have the feature to help you kickstart them in a pinch. In fact, you might even have the feature on your own scooter without realizing it. We'll explore what these features are, how they work, and how to use them in this video. Kickstarting a motor scooter is useful but also dangerous if done improperly. To avoid injuries, always wear protective gear when kickstarting your machine. How do I know my battery is dead? Sometimes we don't tend to realize when our battery is dying and that's because we don't do that much about it until the situation gets out of hand. There are some things that you should always check to see whether the battery is dying or not. 1. Discoloration. 2. No ignition. 3. Corroded battery terminals. 4. 5. Fading horn and headlights. 6. Bulges in the casing. 7. Not holding a charge. Let us explain in detail for you to understand better. Number 1. Discoloration. When you notice that your scooter is not performing as well when compared to back when it was in good condition, one of the first things you should do is check if there's any discoloration on the casing. If you find that there are black spots or stains around the battery, then this might probably mean that the battery could be dying and needs replacement. Number two, no ignition. At times when you try to start the engine, but there's nothing, then that means that your battery is probably dead and needs a jump start. This might be a sign that it was not maintained well, so if possible have it checked by an expert at a scooter shop but sometimes it might be a problem with the terminals on your battery. Number three, corroded battery terminals. When the terminals are corroded, this means that the connection between the battery and the scooter is not strong anymore. The terminals need to be cleaned up properly so you could have good contact with them in order to get your motor scooter started. Number four, fading horn and headlight. Horn and headlight issues indicate electrical problems that might also be affecting your scooter's ability to start. You may need to have your battery and electrical system checked. Number five, bulges in the casing. If you notice bulges on your battery casing, don't take chances because it might explode if not given proper maintenance. This is an indication that the acid inside it has leaked out which could be a result of overcharging or if the battery was being recharged using an inferior charger. Number six, not holding a charge. If your battery is not able to hold a charge anymore, then this means that you need to have it checked by the experts in your area because batteries are known for not lasting forever. A new one would also be needed when the scooter repair shop is going to be able to start your scooter again. Kickstarting a motor scooter with a dead battery is possible, but if done incorrectly, can cause injuries or damage to your engine. How to kickstart a motor scooter? Check the video that shows you how to practically kickstart a motor scooter in the description below. Remember that some other scooters don't have this feature, and you might have to just change the battery altogether. If you try and look for a Kickstarter on your scooter and do not find it, check the owner's manual to see it does have a Kickstarter or do a Google search. Tips for keeping your battery healthy. Keeping your battery healthy is actually quite easy. Just make sure that you follow some of these tips below to keep your scooter running in its top condition. One, don't let it run down. If you're using your scooter for short distances, then do not let the battery drain out completely. This is because draining a lead acid battery on a regular basis will lower its ability to hold a charge. Two, recharge after each trip. Especially if you are using an electric scooter, after using your scooter, recharge the battery as soon as possible. Make sure that you have an original charger for this purpose because there are some chargers out there that would overcharge and ruin your battery and motorcycle's charging system. There should also be a cutoff switch to stop the charging process. Three, don't carry unnecessary weight. If you're carrying heavy things on your scooter, it might affect the power of your battery, so remove or shift them to either side of your scooter or get a bigger battery with more power if necessary. Regular recharging will help keep all electrical systems working in top condition, which also includes a healthy battery. How to properly store a motor scooter during the winter months. Storing your scooter for long periods of time can cause problems with the battery. Here are some tips to help you out. One, leave it unplugged. Do not store your electric scooter plugged in because there might be a possibility that sparks will come out, which could cause an explosion if stored near flammable materials. Two, store it in a well-ventilated place. Store your scooter in a dry and open area with good ventilation so rust wouldn't form on the engine. Keep it away from moisture when not being used because water getting inside will damage your motorcycle's electrical system. Three, inspect the battery. Before storing your motorbike for long periods of time, inspect the battery to ensure that it's in a healthy condition. 
It should have a decent amount of charge and no leaks from the casing. Otherwise, replace it with a new one. 4. Dispose or recycle batteries properly. If you have replaced your old battery, then dispose of or do not recycle them by throwing them in any landfill because they contain toxic substances. Instead, dispose of them at the recycling plant where they are treated properly. Using your scooter for short distances will help you to prevent running down the battery so it doesn't damage it. Make sure that you have a regular charger and inspect it properly before storing it for long periods of time. If possible, get an electric scooter with bigger batteries because they are more powerful. My final thoughts. There are still many things to consider when it comes to kickstarting your motor scooter with a dead battery. If you can, the best thing is to get another battery for kicks or just pay someone in your neighborhood 10-15 bucks to push start it for you. However, if everything else fails and there is no other way than jump starting your scooter, go ahead and follow the steps I have talked about in this video. Remember to be patient when it comes to kickstarting a motorcycle with a dead battery because most of them require a few attempts before you actually get it going.